Let's go upstairs and join Dan Loisel for the call of the Prince of Wales. Well, the ring loaded into the gate for the second jewel of the Bank of Montreal Triple Crown, the Prince of Wales Stakes. And the heavy, heavy favorite one to nine is his vesti and justifiably so off of that impressive, impressive victory in the Queen's Plate. French King just walking into line, an equipment change on him today. Very formal walks into the gate. He's the nine to one second choice. And we wait on the Queen's Plate champion is Vestia. Is Vestia will be the last horse to load. And Don Seymour has the call on this son of ice capade. Just walking into line. They are at the post. They're off in the Prince of Wales Stakes. Roll the dice in the center along with French King is Vestia. Broke well from the outside. Just to his inside, very formal and coming away in fifth was key timing as they move in front of us for the first time. Now as Vestia has assumed the early lead, roll the dice. Toward the inside is second, very formal, out of trouble on the outside, third. French King just to very formal's inside. And key timing is about six lengths off the early lead. They're midway of the clubhouse turn. It's roll the dice and is Vestia. There, stride for stride to the back stretch. Now as Vestia takes the lead by head. Roll the dice is second, very formal, stocks them from third, just two and a half lengths off the lead. French King to the inside, fourth, and key timing. The quarter was in 23 and a fifth and half a mile in 48 and one. Roll the dice is asked for a little more run by Lloyd Duffy. He joins his Vestia once again. Those two continue to slug it out down the back stretch. Roll the dice on the inside is Vestia on the outside. Very formal is third. French King within three lengths of the lead. And key timings making a move around three rolls as they run to the far turn. He's out there three wide and in a challenging position. They're running through the far turn now. Three quarters was in 12 and four and his Vestia is a clear leader now. He's their length. Roll the dice can't stay with him. Very formals two lengths off is Vestia. They come to the quarter pole. It's his Vestia. His ears are pricked. He's wanting more. He's in front by three. It's his Vestia by three. Very formal in hot pursuit. Holly goes to the whip. French King is third and roll the dice is fourth, but his Vestia opens to six at the eighth pole. Very formal second and French King is third. His Vestia toying with his field in the Prince of Wales stakes. Another dazzling display. And very formal was second, French King third. Key timing was fourth and roll the dice was fifth. Uh, down the back stretch there, Ron and Jim, his Vestia and Roll the Dice went head and head, but I think Seymour was just toying with Roll the Dice on his inside. He went a little wide off the turn, but he certainly was the best this afternoon. The running time, 1.56 and 2, two-fifths of a second off the track record. Thank you very much, Dan. Another blistering performance by Is Vestia, who eased his way into a... Second jewel victory here today. The pattern was the same, Jim. A nice blowout on Thursday, five furlongs fast, and then the big victory on a Sunday. As Danny said, a little uh, awkward coming off the bend there, but he'd never run a race on this track before, so that's somewhat understandable. As uh, with the Queen's Plate, uh, the, the fractions in this race seem to get progressively better. Uh, after a second a quarter in 25 seconds, he picked it up to go 24 and 3, and then another 24 and 3, and finished in an excellent one minute, 56.2. We've been making comparisons between himself and with approval. He beat with approval's time in the trial and the plate, and he beat with approval's time today, winning the Prince of Wales in 1.56 and 2. That is a stakes record. It is not a track record. That is held by Big Blunder, and it is uh, dates back to uh, the 70s. Uh, we see the uh, Samson runner there uh, in the desperate pursuit. Okay, let's go now to Terry Libel. Thank you very much.